Behind me is easily one of the most incredible images I've ever seen. This is a artificial human cerebellum, neurons firing. Stem cells have been grown into a human brain and we're seeing the kind of neural functioning we'd see in a real person. As you may know, for the last decade, scientists have been growing the tiny brains. Little human brains grown from stem cells, which have a variety of uses. And they're pretty powerful all on their own. You can even have them operate robots. But growing components of the hindbrain has been difficult. One of the arguments against them being conscious, which they're not yet, is that they don't have a brainstem and don't have components of the hindbrain like the cerebellum. The brainstem is what allows you to be conscious in the medical terminology. And yes, we can grow that. As well as the cerebellum, which controls functions like balance and your ability to control your body effectively. It may also have some implications for consciousness. Look, you have this fairly large processing unit that essentially has the consistency of butter, which controls everything in your body. It is, however, hard to grow a brain when you don't have a physical body to do it. One of the solutions has just been to assemble them like Legos. Because brain organoids are essentially still stem cells, they can do a lot of very invasive tasks that adult cells can't. Like, we know that we can control a decapitated mouse with them. Technically, if you grow a brain organoid near a spinal column of a decapitated mouse fetus, it will develop little neural projections and it can even control the muscles. One of the great limitations, which was vascularizing them, giving them oxygen, seems like it's not that much of a limitation any longer. You can actually grow a vascular system along with them. Because we're working with very plastic stages in human development, it just it works together. Having oxygenation will help us overcome a lot of the limitations in growing and developing them. But now since we're at the point where we could maybe give them a brainstem and every component of the brain, there is the question of what is that going to look like? We can use them for things like computation, which they're very effective at, but no one really knows what having a complex brain is going to look like when you're controlling a robot. Could we create consciousness? Well, we have the components and I am morbidly fascinated to find out. I'll keep telling you guys about it if you'll keep listening.